how to change your brakes without having to bleed the whole brake system. You'll need one of these, or a simple C-clamp will work too, but this here is an actual tool for the job itself. First, we're going to take the caliper loose. It's just a couple 10 millimeter bolts on this Dodge. One here, we're going to take it loose. And the other one's right here, we'll take it loose. Once you take your two caliper pin bolts loose, you set them over here, you just pry this thing off. Notice though, that like right here, that will be able to slide off. But down here, it's trapped behind this. So you gotta pry at the top first and then it will slide up and out. So, and then up. Hard to do with one hand. You want to take the brake pads off. You want to use the old brake pad. Set it down in there like so. Take this tool here. Put it in like that. And you just squeeze it and push that piston back in. So in turn you never open the brake system, you never have to re-bleed them. Just like that. On this particular brake job I am changing the rotors too. I don't know if, how well you can see it, but there's a big lip right here and up here. It, you just need new ones. <laughs> just replace them. When you put them back on the new pads and rotors, again, make sure the bottom goes in first and put your two caliper pin bolts back in it, tightened up. Very important part about this, so when you get in the car after you're done, you'll have to pump up the brakes until you have a brake pedal. You just get in it, start it, and hit the brake and put it in gear, you're gonna go rolling. So you gotta pump up the brakes and get the brake pedal back. You have to push these pistons back out so they work right.